a change for Chicago. Adati now with a distribution pass deep into the left corner from Mirko Castillo. Castillo is marked there by Dipley. He drops for Buscaric. Buscaric to Castillo. There's a shot. Score! Teddy Kraft right out in front. Dance around Brian Haynes. Scores. And Chicago is knotted things up at two apiece. Well, Teddy Kraft was left all alone in the box, and Yara Doknushki had no chance on that one. To leave a guy 15 feet out from the net right in front. Nifty little pass. And at 10-27, it's 2-2. Two to two. Chicago. It was Kraft from Castillo. Has a few words for referee Gary Huber. And as much as saying, what are you letting that rookie get in the box here for, a ref? Now here comes number six, Carvignani, in the left corner. For Rojas, his pass over to Teddy Kraft. He shoots and scores. Teddy Kraft in almost an identical spot, about 10 feet further out from the goal, has just scored his second goal in under two minutes. And that's a score for Chicago, and they lead four to two. Let's pause 10 seconds. Take this station break. And Hall passes up to Rojas. Rojas, right side for Batata. Batata now steps on the ball as the Atlanta team hustles back well defensively. Batata, right side for Rojas. Rojas with a three-point try. It's deflected off a touch with the Yarrow makes a sprawling save. Then he runs it out in front. Militello couldn't get a foot on it. And Sanchez comes up with a save. He passes to Batata. Batata dropped it back for Eisroff, who comes up to Batata on the right side. His pass right out front to Tommy Eisroff scores. Well, that's a really nice job by Eisroff and Batata. Batata's second assist of the night. He was the sixth leading scorer in the league last year with 41 assists and 104 points. And Batata's showing you why there. Really nifty play he and Izarov uh, had. Manny Sanchez with a long distribution. Batata chested it or headed it back to Izarov, who's the trailer. When the Atlanta defender slipped on the play, Batata snuck behind him. And Izarov and Batata worked a give-and-go magic. Played for Memphis till about mid-season last year. Adati for Carbignani, who is now out of the box. And now, oh, there's Castillo. He got away from Blast the game. Shot just wide of the net, and Yaro covers up the rebound. Somehow, Castillo sprung free and blasted one just wide to the left, and Yaro made the save on the rebound. Here's Blast the game now. Left side for Hatcher. Hatcher dancing around one man, shoots it right out the slot. Militolo can't get it. Blast the game shot high off the glass. Brian Haynes controls the rebound on the right wing. Haynes circles back out. Passes left side for Blasingame. He and Adani go crashing into one another in the left corner. And Adani kicks it out for Teddy Kraft, but Hatchup is there to steal with Militello this year. That includes the NPSL All-Star Game, January 10th. Don't want to miss that. That'll be a dandy right here on the floor of uh, the Omni. Now here's the kickoff by Chicago. Castillo springs loose. He shoots at Yaro. He doesn't have to cut down the angle. Then had to twist his body back to make the save. His distribution too far for Hatchup. Haynes who crosses the center stripe. He's got Diffley on the right side. There's a blast just wide off the side of the net. Just wide off the side of the glass, rather. Just on the right side of the post. And here's Castillo with a break for Chicago. Yarrow comes out. He split it past and score. And Castillo is running to the boards. Right after the score, he's rolling around in pain on the ground. Uh, Yarrow came out to cut, cut off the angle. And Castillo, with these new huge goals, just picked a spot and slipped it home. And Chicago, just like that, boom, has reclaimed the lead, eight to six. They do it with six and a half minutes to play. Well, Marco Castillo, two point goals. He is the leading scorer for Chicago. He also has an assist tonight that gives him seven points on the year. Here's Atlanta, Bakhtiari playing again. This is left footed pass on the right side in the corner for Castillo. Castillo. Tries to move around Bakhtiari. His pass is interrupted by Militello, who dumps it out to midfield where Richardson. Now here's the dump in for Castillo. Castillo tries to chip it in. And Castillo on the give and go. It's blocked by Blasting Game out in front, outside the yellow line. Rogers to Zoran Savic. Savic, double team. Now a triple team. As Zoran can find somebody open. Here's Zoran. Breaks through the triple team. He's going to be able to for a She's a score! Wheeling and dealing right at the yellow line. Trying to work his way out of a triple team along the board. Somehow scored it out of there like a tiny running backwood out of a huge bunch of linemen. And Zoran 
Savick after beating the initial three, then danced around Michael Richardson just to the left of the arc and scores at 2.07 of the third quarter to make it 13-9 Chicago. So battles with Surrey. Caleb goes flying. Now it's a three on two, no. Three on three, three on four as Atlanta gets back defensively. Castillo, left side of shot is blocked by Diffley. Castillo again tries to chip it out to Teddy Kraft. Kraft on the right wing, just inside the three-point line, drops for Brett Hall. 13 to 11, Chicago on top. Eight and a half minutes to play here in the ball game. Brett Hall, right side pass for Piscaric. Ed Piscaric. Entry pass for Castillo, right on the three-point line. A shot is saved by Yaro Dakushki. Radio home of the Atlanta attack. And now here we go with a sixth attacker. Hatcher deep in the left corner. Atlanta looking to pass out for Moses. Scores! Dominic Militello! Who scored the game winner Wednesday in Detroit? Converts with 49 seconds left in this one to tie it up. Dominic Militaro from Peter Hatrip at 49 and a half seconds has tied this game up. Well, folks, that's the way you run it. Keith Tozer put the sixth attacker on, and at two times in the offensive end, he has had one too many men for Chicago to cover, and it's worked. Peter Hatcher distributing beautifully with the pass to Militello, who one touched it with his left foot, and now the attack has tied it up 13 all. 49 and a half seconds left. Dakdushki back in goal. The sixth attack of Jersey off of Bakhtiari, and Chicago will kick off. With Yakovlevich, Batata, Carbignani, Hall, and Richardson moving right to left. Yakovlevich to Batata, who tries to chip it in for Yakovlevich. Dipley and Yakovlevich battle for it. They're going to call Victor Yakovlevich for the hold. And Brian Haynes quickly initiates play. It's Peter Hatcher for Atlanta. 38 seconds left. John Dipley now on the right side. Dipley dumps it into the left corner. Brian Haynes will be marked by Richardson as they both hunt it down. Richardson beat Haynes to the ball and starts out of his own with 28 seconds left. He's careening down the right side and triple team. He sneaks around the first down, gets off the left footer, but Yarrow makes the save. And Dokdushki passes over to Dipley. Dipley wisely slows things up with 17 seconds left. Now passes over to Dokdushki. Richardson with the heat on it. Yarrow chips it into the zone. Yakovlevich tries to head it out of there. Eight seconds left to Haynes. Haynes dances around Carbignani. Haynes, again, looking for the opening. Haynes shoots. Scores! He scored with nine tenths of a second left. Brian Haynes has won this game for the Atlanta attack. Holy moly, boys and girls. He wasn't going to get the shot off. He made one fake, one last fake with about two seconds left. Carbignani bit on the fake. Haynes took one extra step to his right. Let the right footer go. The natural left footer let the right footer go. Sucked it into the upper left-hand corner of the net. And the attack has just is nine-tenths of a second away from completing a 